Newly sworn in New York Congressman George Santos is rejecting more calls for his resignation. Politicians and party leaders on both sides say he is ill-equipped to serve. And some are planning to introduce legislation targeting candidates who lie on the campaign trail. Santos has admitted to lying about key facts of his life, his career. Henry Rossoff with our affiliate WPIX has more on the uproar and how Santos continues to push back. Congressman George Santos is offering no real explanations for the lies he's told as he moves around Washington, but he's insisting he will not step aside unless the 142,000 New Yorkers who voted for him tell him to do so. I'm not doing this as a political job. I'm serving the American people who elected me. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has not joined the handful of Republican representatives and local officials who've called for Santos to resign. The voters of his district have elected him. He is seated. He is part of the Republican conference. There are concerns with it, so he will go before ethics. If anything is found to be have wrong, he will be held accountable. The ethics exactly complaint the speaker mentions pertains mainly to Santos's fundraising and sudden wealth that enabled him to donate hundreds of thousands of dollars to his own campaign. I've worked my entire life. I've lived an honest life. I've never been uh, accused, sued of, of any bad doing. Santos has already admitted to falsely claiming to work for Citigroup and Goldman Sachs. He's also under investigation in Brazil. Brazil for fraud related to a stolen checkbook in 2008. Thursday, Congressman Richie Torres and Dan Goldman, who filed the ethics complaint against Santos, also introduced a bill known as the Stopping Another Non-Truthful Office Seeker Act, or Santos for short. This is somebody, regardless of party, who, who put together a web of lies. Goldman explained that as the law stands now, the lies Santos told about his work history and education would not disqualify him from serving in office. This would change that and make the lies punishable by up to a year in prison. Nobody in Congress, in their good conscience, can support somebody who completely deceives his voters. Congressman Goldman tells me that he's not sure when or even if the so-called Santos Act will move forward in the House. Of course, the Republicans control the agenda in that body. In the Douglaston neighborhood of Queens, New York, I'm Henry Rossoff for News Nation. Nicole? Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.